Okay, so my favorite color is blue, but looking at my knife collection, I own more purple knives than anything else. So how about you? What is your favorite knife color and why? Today's beer pairing is Purple Monkey Dishwasher from Evil Genius. What is up everybody? It's your boy Eric aka Wasted Beer Money and got a fun one for you guys today. Uh, I was looking through my knife collection and noticed that the majority color in there is purple, which for me is odd because my favorite color is blue. So I figured I'd ask everybody what your favorite knife color is and why if you know. Um, I obviously don't know, um, but whenever I see an option in purple, I tend to lean toward that and get it. Uh, these are some of my favorite ones. It's not every purple knife that I own. I just wanted to pull a few of my favorites out and show you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments what, you, uh, what your favorite color is, um, if you have a more prevalent color in your collection. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I like to have fun here on the channel. Um, do knife content. I do beer pairing. And... Uh, I like to have fun. I like to get to know people. So uh, if you do subscribe, let me know down in the comments as well. I'd like to get to know you. All right. So on the table today, I got the Rough Rider Purple Swirl up first. Uh, just did a video on this recently. This is a knife that my daughter picked out for me. Um, so it's special to me. Now, she actually picked it out because if you look close enough, uh, you can see some pink and blue in here. Her favorite color is purple. Um, but she picked the, this one because the pink and the blue are me and my wife's favorite color. So this is a fun knife. It's a nice uh, clip point blade. It's um, a mirror finish. So as you can see, it gets fingerprints like crazy. But uh, it's a nice little knife. I, I just throw this in the pocket and forget about it. And uh, pretty good quality knife. You can get this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for $12.99, which, I mean, it's, it's a steal. Um, but the uh, Rough Rider collection, uh, if this one isn't your style, they got tons of different knives and uh, tons of different colors. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, next up on the table, I have the Civivi Brazen Tonto. This is my favorite Tonto blade in the purple G10 scale. It's got two means of deployment. You got thumb studs and the flipper there. It's got nice action on this knife. Uh, this one is in D2 steel, which I've had on the channel before. This one's becoming harder to find. Uh, I did find it on Blade HQ for $49. Uh, I believe it's out of stock on Amazon and Knife Center. I don't know if they're going to remake it or, you know, how some BB does things, but uh, it's a great knife. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, next up, we got a Kaiser offering. This is the Kaiser Swayback. Now, button locks are the latest craze, and I've had this one for a while. This is the uh, it's a flipper from Swags and a Warncliffe blade. This is an N690 steel. Haven't had this on the channel yet, but uh, this is one of my favorites. Great action. Love this one. Uh, this can be found on Blade HQ for $59. Uh, it's a very fidgety knife. Great steel. I just love the action. I'm going to just sit there and flip this thing all day. It's a very light blade. But uh, definitely one of my favorites. All right. Let's take a quick break, and uh, I'm going to pour a beer out. All right. For today's beer pairing, we have Purple Monkey Dishwasher. It's a chocolate peanut butter porter from Evil Genius, which is located in Philadelphia, PA. I grew up around Philadelphia, so uh, this is a cool one for me. It's a local beer. Um, if candy and beer had a beautiful liquid baby, you'd have purple monkey dishwasher is what they say. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet. Uh, it says here, do you like chocolate and peanut butter but hate all that pesky chewing? Give your teeth a vacation with our rich, full-bodied chocolate peanut butter porter. I've uh, had my eye on this one for a while. Evil Genius, um, they started in 2011. Uh, two guys from Villanova University uh, decided to form a uh, beer company. And uh, they really 
jumped in on the uh, pop culture thing. There's some of their beers, like the one's called Stacy's Mom. They have one called Ma the Meatloaf. Hashtag adulting. Uh, one of my favorite holiday Christmas beers is uh, Santa. I know him from uh, Elf. Um, but yeah, they're, they got fun names. Uh, and everything I've tried from them so far is pretty darn good. So let's pop this bad boy open. Not a big porter guy. These tend to be beers that uh, you have one and you're done. They fill you up pretty fast. They're very dark. Going to pause the video here and give you guys a look from the side. Very dark. Can't see through it at all. Have a really light tan beige head. Uh, on the nose, right off the bat, you can get the peanut butter. So I'm curious if that's a little bit too strong in this or not. We're about to find out, but I wanted to show you guys that. And let's go back to the overhead. All right, and we are back. Let's give this one a shot. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow, it's really good. Not very strong on the chocolate or peanut butter. It's there. Um, one thing I really like about this, it's not very thick. Um, these types of beers tend to be really thick. Like I said earlier, you tend to have one and you're full and done. Uh, this is, has like a lower viscosity to it. Um, really good beer. Uh, you can definitely pick up the chocolate malts. Uh, a little bit of the peanut butter, not as strong as I thought from the nose, but it's a pretty darn good beer. Um, I'm going to give this one, eh, I'll give this an 8.4. Very good beer. Highly recommend it. Purple Monkey Dishwasher from Evil Genius. All right, let's get back to the knives. Um, this is my favorite button lock, and I have quite a few of them from Civivi. I have a few Kaisers. Uh, I am looking forward to the new CJRB. And what is the other button lock that's coming out that I'm interested in? I don't know if it's Artisan. Oh, no, uh, Sencut uh, has a um, new button lock coming out. There's a few videos out there already from people that got one at Knife Show. Uh, but for now, this is my favorite button lock. I don't know if you're going to pick up the sound of this. I love this. I love the sound of this knife. Uh, this is in 14C28N. Uh, it's a clip point blade. Uh, these can be found. Uh, this one I found on Knife Center for $69. Uh, this is another one that I'm starting to see kind of go out of stock. I don't know if they're going to remake it. Uh, on Amazon, they just come out with some uh, My Carter versions. Uh, just released so um, it seems like they're gonna stick with the design I don't know if you know you'll be able to get the purple soon so if you like purple uh, might be worth picking up the action on this thing is great I love the sound uh, this knife finds its way into my pocket a lot um, so yeah that is the Civivi Cogent all right and last but not least, and I saved this one for last for a reason, uh, this one is a special knife to me because it is the knife that I got my wife to carry on a daily basis. Um, before I started all this, my wife didn't carry anything, um, and I, I'd like to have something on her for protection. Um, got some pepper spray for her, but it's always good to have a knife. Uh, this is also one that I got for my daughter. Uh, she'll be turning 10 this year, but uh, she likes to flip it. Um, it's a very easy knife to use. It's very thin. Um, it's in my wife's pocket always. You always see it clipped to her. Um, it's very, uh, very good for beginners. It's assisted, but it has two means of deployment. You have a flipper here, and it's a liner lock. You just push it over and push it down. Uh, it's got a thumb stud here. It's so in a pretty good steel. It's 14C28N. Um, these can be found in a multitude of different colors. Um, my wife has a purple one, and my daughter has a teal one. Um, but this is I tell everybody, um, especially getting into knives, or if you watch this and you're not into knives that much, and 
This is a knife I always recommend to people. Um, it means the world to me because my wife now carries it every day. It's a cool blade shape. It's a warm cliff blade, very pokey. Um, she uses it all the time. I'm constantly cleaning it for her, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to save this one for last. Uh, it, it's very friendly as far as um, you know, knife laws are concerned. It's a three inch blade, so that's legal in most places. Um, yeah, it's a, just a great knife. Um, so yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, like I said, let me know down in the comments uh, what, what's your uh, favorite knife color or one that you have more of than any other color. Um, hope everyone is having a great weekend. Uh, staying cool. I think we have another heat wave coming. So um, make sure we check in on the elderly and our pets and uh, be careful out there, guys. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their summer. Um, please consider subscribing, giving a like if you're new here. If you are, let me know down in the comments as well. I'd love to get to know you guys. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Beer money. Out.